This beautiful beach is actually a laboratory for John to study sex in the wild. And he's reached some surprising conclusions about mating behavior by observing his favorite subject, fiddler crabs. John, a fiddler crab, obviously a crab that plays the fiddle. Yes, and a fiddle in, in this case is a, is a large claw. They look like they have a fiddle tucked under their chin, which they don't have either. But all the species in the genus have this one enlarged claw, and there's no other group in the world of crabs that have this incredible dimorphism between males and females. Males when you are, say dimorphism? Males are differently shaped than females. Females have two little claws. They don't have this big claw. For a male fiddler crab, courting means waving and tapping his larger claw whenever there's a female around. And there's always other males looking to get in on the action. That is what we're witnessing. We're That's witnessing a bunch of guys in muscle shirts going, how you doing? We're, we're, how you doing? No, how you doing? Over here, how you doing, right? Right, I, absolutely. They're competing for attention, <laughs> for the female's attention. We might learn something about other animals, including ourselves, by watching these crabs. Courting addicts of the grizzly are somewhat strenuous. John's specialty is behavioral ecology, the study of how animals act to attract mates, and why their evolving behavior leads to greater biological diversity. If we're interested in what causes biodiversity, then we have to study communication. You know, what's attractive, what isn't attractive, and how does it result in difference, uh, differences between species? And most of those signals are involved in sexual communication. And studying fiddler crabs on this wide open beach provides a unique opportunity to learn something new about sexual communication almost every day.